at those cherished mementos, they will certainly love those. We do want to uh, check in one last time before the funeral begins, right outside the Holman Center with News 10's John Swanner. John? All right, thank you, Patrice. Patrice, you mentioned the priest that is presiding over this funeral. That is Father Ben Seiberg, and he has literally just arrived in Terre Haute as of last week. In fact, his first mass in Terre Haute was the same day that, doc, or that Detective Ferency lost his life last Wednesday. Um, he is the pastors of both, he is the pastors of the two parishes in town, St. Patrick's Catholic Church at 19th and Poplar, where the Ferencies are members, and also St. Margaret Mary at 7th and Voorhees. And that's another reason, you mentioned the family is Catholic. Uh, that is another reason why uh, De 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 Detective Ferency's last resting place will be in Calvary Cemetery. That's a cemetery here in town that a lot of Catholic families use. So we have uh, the, obviously now they are bringing in the uh, Patriot Guard a little bit. They're moving them around a little bit now that they think that everyone is inside uh, the Holman Center to attend this funeral. Lots of people still arriving and coming up last minute, uh, getting every last seat they can before the Holman Center fills and before this funeral starts, which is coming up right at the top of the hour. So uh, we appreciate everyone joining us and we'll have more live reports here as this uh, service progresses. Back to you. We are about a minute away before the start of the funeral. We want to show you that um, portrait of Valor. It's just a great, great, great picture. Uh, that twinkle in his eye, as a lot of his friends say, and the great smile. People as far and wide as are showing their support. Now this is from a fellow officer from Philadelphia. He used his artistic talents to honor this local fallen officer. This is what's called a portrait of Valor. He also did one of, of, of Rob Pitts you see there. Forensic composite artist Johnny Castro created the digital painting of Detective Ferency that you see there. Castro has created more than a thousand of these portraits for fallen officers, a thousand, including those of Detective Ferency and Rob Pitts, who died in the light of duty in 2018. Castro typically delivers those portraits, of course, to the families of the fallen officers. Let's take a bird's eye view outside of of the Holman Center, where in less than a minute, if it starts on time, we're hoping it does, the funeral service for Detective Greg Ferency will begin. It will be seeped in history, in tradition. He will be buried in full military honors. The detective, only 53 years old, survived by his twins, both of his parents and his sister. Um, they are in their front and center. Uh, we will not be showing their faces out of respect. There is a wonderful picture of Greg Ferency again, giving us, giving the community 30 years of his service, described as someone who really cared about his job, loved his job. We have heard a lot about his smile and his ability to make people feel at ease, to laugh. Law enforcement say that he leaves a void that cannot be replaced. They say he had a wealth of knowledge and he used that knowledge to help the community. So we thank him and his brothers and sisters in blue, all first responders, for their time to this community, to their service to this community. Lots of businesses are also say, saying thank you to all of these men and women, all of these first responders. The Moonlight Drive-In Theater, just one of the many that put writing up on their kiosks, saying rest in peace, thank you, we appreciate you, uh, we're thinking of you, whatever it may be, certainly giving solace to the Terre Haute Police Department, Scott, and to the Ferency family. It is, and that's phenomenal to see that on the marquees like that as well, and, and the, uh, the, the meaning uh, behind well, that people didn't know with the badge number, uh, putting that out there. Yes. So if people do see that, they'll know why. Badge 129 was the badge number for Detective Greg Ferency. We are just moments away from the funeral service at the Holman Center. We will bring it to, be bringing it to you in its entirety, uninterrupted, live here on WTHI, and also streaming it live for you on WTHITV.com. I received texts and emails from folks from this community that are either on vacation or they're working out of town or be out of, living out of town, perhaps, who really wanted to show their support. And they are grateful that we're streaming it for them online so they can watch that. A lot of people care. All the way up in South Bend, we've asked for it. And you, you all were generous, so generous here to, to hook us up in South Bend with, with your uh, broadcast. Well, they wanted to see their friend, you, wow. to 
doing their wonderful job that we appreciate so much for your time and your knowledge. Um, Indiana Governor Eric Holcomb has asked that all flags be at half staff. If you've driven around Vigo County today, you probably notice many of them. He has asked all federal buildings to do it, but look, businesses, um, just regular Joe residents have lowered their flags to half staff in honor of Detective Greg Ferency and in respect to the Ferency family. It is uh, a beautiful sight to see, an unfortunate sight to see, but it is nice to see the community pulling together. Scott, talk about a little bit of the beginning of the funeral, what we can expect. Um, so again, everybody will be doing, all the officers will be doing a file by with their significant other uh, or spouse, um, and they will go to their seats. Uh, once everybody is seated, seated uh, the Reverend will give the cue and he'll, he'll kick everything off. Okay, and it is my understanding that things are beginning. Right at...
You are looking at a live picture inside the Holman Center where the funeral service for Detective Greg Ferency has begun. Now, Scott, the officers aren't even in yet. These are just dignitaries. What are we What are we seeing yeah, here? Yeah, they, they just seated probably the, uh, the bulk of the VIPs, uh, and now it'll be a combination of some VIPs uh, and then uh, maybe some other uh, informal dignitaries, if you will. And then the officers, you'll, you'll, it'll be notable and noticeable when the officers come in. Uh, they'll all have their uh, caps or covers or hats in their left hand. And you'll see a file by a single, probably Terre Haute PD will be single. And then everybody else coming in uh, will likely be a double file by. Uh, it, it's based on what their count is at the time, how they're going to do that. And they will file by the casket? Yes. Okay, paying their respects. Now, this beautiful music is this musical tribute is by Lieutenant Brian Wolf, is that correct? It is, uh, he's been my roommate uh, oh. uh, at the hotel uh, during all this, but he does these for all of the uh, officer's funerals. Uh, and, and he'll also do uh, the police rendition of Amazing Grace a little, a little bit later in the program. Uh, and then he'll, he'll play out uh, the ending at, at dismissal as well. I'm sure that'll be moving. Uh, Lieutenant Brian Wolf is with the Marion County Sheriff's Department, lending his time and his beautiful musical skills for this funeral service. Uh, as Scott has mentioned, the dignitaries are being seated. Of course, the family was seated first, then dignitaries, and then you will know when all of the officers come in. They will file by the casket, paying their respects to Detective Greg Ferency, 53 years old, killed in the line of duty here in Terre Haute uh, last Wednesday. And uh, let's listen in a little bit longer to this service. It will begin here in a moment, but it takes time to get everyone in, and certainly everything wants to be uh, perfect and along the lines of history. A full military honors, seeped with history, seeped with tradition, right, Scott? It is. Yeah, you'll see, uh, obviously, some of the Terre Haute officers in, and then the FBI uh, task force agents, FBI actual agents, will, will also be right behind Terre Haute PD. Uh, and then the other agencies will fall in behind them. Detective Ferency was Catholic, his family is Catholic. This will not be a full Catholic Mass. The family was able to have uh, a full Catholic Mass uh, at the funeral home at Callahan and Hughes here in Terre Haute, a private mass ceremony. This will be more of an abbreviated rendition with so many people involved. The Holman Center will fill up, I'm sure it will, uh, just with, if nothing else, officers from all over the state and some all over the country coming in to show their respects. Honor guards, Patriot guards, friends and family, just community members that want to show their support. And what you won't see on there, Patrice, is probably another 150 to 200 Honor Guard members that will not be in the, in the stadium itself. They'll be on the outskirts doing their, their duties and keeping an eye on people, maybe giving uh, water, uh, showing people you know, where the facilities are, things, things of that nature as well. Okay. There's that portrait of valor of Detective Greg Ferency that will be donated to his family, will be given to his family. Beautiful, beautiful portrait there of his smile and his eyes and his great personality. Greg had a great, great personality that would just make you laugh. Now, we did see people filing by, but those were not the officers yet, in my understanding. It, yeah, I, it was hard to tell in the beginning, but it may have been some of the Terre Haute officers leading the way, the rank and file uh, officers and then the uh, FBI agents uh, following. But now you can, you can, it's pretty obvious to see the officers uh, that are passing by now. Okay, so they are passing by now. And perhaps you will see each one may have a spouse or significant other with them. That, of course, is for emotional support. These men and women are going through a lot over the last couple of days. They are mixed with um, anger, with sadness, that one of their colleagues, one of their best friends in many cases, was taken from them again the third time in the last 10 years here in the Terre Haute community. 